I will show you how to work with uh, Docker Bridge Network. So um, let me go to, to my console here and uh, show you a couple of things. First of all, let's check the, um, the links on this machine. Sorry. This is uh, the default uh, setup with Docker. I don't have any custom configuration or networks over here. So I have this uh, default bridge, which is called Docker Zero. You see that now it's in a down state. As soon as I will have a container running, this will be in up state. And also you will see a um, virtual, uh, uh, virtual Ethernet interface attached to this bridge. Let's also display the uh, Docker networks. The default, as I said. So uh, also the IPs. This is the IP for the, this is the subnet for the um, default Docker bridge network. So just let me run a container and uh, explain a couple of things for you. Let me see the images here. I will use a custom uh, Alpine uh, image that I have on my um, uh, Docker Hub repository. Um, it runs a SSH server. So let's do this. Docker container run, detachable, removable. Name of the container will be Alp Alpinet1, let's say. Host name also, I will use Alpinet1. Network, I can specify it like this, but it's also the default, the default value. So if I don't specify it, it will be also, uh, it will be the same. And um, I can uh, publish a port, let's say 223 to 22 on the inside, so um, my SSH server. And the, the name of the image, that should be enough. The container is running fine. Let's check again the, the links on our host. Now you can see the, the bridge is up and also the virtual Ethernet interface appeared here. And if we are checking with bridge, bridge link show, I think, you will see that this interface, it's a slave interface for this uh, Docker Zero bridge. All right. So each container that you will uh, bring up will create uh, a virtual interface, virtual Ethernet interface, which is actually a peer. It has one leg in the default namespace here and the other in the container namespace. All right, and one other important thing that you need to see is the um, IP tables configuration that this uh, running container created, especially the um, The ones in the NAT, sorry, IP tables, NAT. All right, so this is the, the NAT table. And the thing that I'm interested in is this one here. Uh, anything coming to our local host on any address on port uh, 223 is going to be forwarded denatted to, to this IP on port 22. If I want to to connect to my container on, on the SSH, I can do that from, from this host. I, I have direct access to this. Uh, this is a directly connected network. So I can ping it and I can also SSH to it. Right, 
here is the name I, I have assigned to my container. But if I want to, okay, it's still up. If I want to connect to to my container from the outside, I need to use an IP address that I I can reach from uh, from the outside. So let's display the addresses again. I can use this one because this is a, a in, an interface that is connected to the external network so um, let's do SSH from here admin 192.160 sorry 192.168.56.100 and working one thing that I messed here is if I'm doing it like this it will not try to connect to the container because it will try to connect actually to the to the docker host because the container is published on port 223 so this is the correct that's why the password wasn't working so this is the correct way of doing it so here it is. I'm connected to to my container right here. All right. That was simple enough. Let me stop the container and try something else. Now my goal or one thing that I want to show you here is that we can connect directly to the container without uh, having to rely on the IP tables and uh, let's see how we can do that first of all i will create uh, a custom docker uh, bridge uh, docker network so let's uh, first let's inspect the default bridge network here with docker network inspect bridge i'm interested in in these options here you will see in a minute and the command to create is this let's display the help all right and let's create now a, um, a network docker network create the most important uh, option here would be the driver which is bridge the subnet let's put something distinguishable that 15 that 0 slash 24 gateway is not important in uh, for this demonstration but I will put it anyway that 15 that one attachable I think is the default option anyway I can do something some other things like set aside an IP range or something like that one thing that I want to configure here is an option and that one is the the name of the of the bridge that will be created so not the name of the docker network but the name of the bridge uh, that will be displayed with ip link all right so this should be let's say br0 and for the name of the docker network it also it's also br0 and uh, specified like this let's see if all right it accepted my um, command docker network sorry ah oh, jeez here it is and here it is the the bridge which appears here let's bring a container up attached to this network all right docker container run this is the second container i will put it like this host name i need to specify the network because now it's a custom network it's br0 and um, 
I don't want to specify uh, port publishing. I said I will not rely on uh, on IP tables this time. So here it is. All right, container container is running, and my uh, my bridge interface here is up. Um, let's see what uh, IP has this container. Inspect. Oh. Sorry. All right. So is the um, fifteen dot two. So I can access and I have connectivity with my container from from this local host. But if I want to have connectivity outside, there is one way I will show it now. Um, I will put this interface which has external connectivity, I will configure it as a slave to this bridge br0 so let me see how we can do that i should use ip link set enp0 s9 master br0 all right bridge link show br0 br0 as you can see has two slave interfaces one of them being ENP0 S9 so right now I have layer 2 connectivity with my container the only thing that I need to take care now is that this uh, subnet is not configured here on my on my uh, external host so um, what I actually need to do, the ENP 0 S9 is binded to this uh, to this to this physical interface, and what I can do is just uh, add a secondary IP address in here. Let's say 10. And I'm pretty sure that right now I will be able to ping the container and SSH straight on port 22 this time because it's not published on 92.168.15.2 uh, pass 1 to 3 so here it is my uh, my docker container alpinet 2 so that's one way of doing things another way would be to just um, get rid of uh, of ip tables and uh, configure routing on your external host let's see if we can uh, if we can do that also let me let me exit out of here and um, let's do a continuous ping and um, configure this interface out of the bridge 0s9 um sorry set no master so right now the ping is not working anymore of course and i will need to to rely on the on the routing and also one other thing that i need to do to simplify things I will get rid of all the IP tables uh, rules just by stopping the firewall. Mm, I think firewall D is the firewall here, so it's the default policy is accept. Also for the NAT table I don't have any any custom rules. So this should be this should be fine. And I need to um, 
remove the external IP address from here because right now what I will do is configure a route here that says for this class of IP address go to the to the IP of the actually to this IP not uh, no to this uh, to this one because uh, actually I have two interfaces to this virtual machine has two two interfaces uh, configured and uh, one of them is this one and the other is this one I demonstrated with this one but I I can also use this one and I will use this because this has an IP configured inside the virtual machine so on the outside I have uh, this one 56.1 and on the virtual machine I have um, 56.100 is the IP I have uh, connected with SSH here so all that I need to do is configure a route like this route add 192.168.15.0 mask uh, slash 24 and the gateway would be 56.100 the IP address of the docker host and let's ping it doesn't seem to be working why is that let me see um, here as you can see the default policy is drop let me see if I can change that me minus uh, P forward accept and let's try this again and it's working and let's try the SSH 192, 192.168.15.2 pass 1 to 3 so here I am connected to my uh, docker container so this was uh, docker bridge networking I hope uh, it clarifies a couple of things for you and I'm waiting for you in the next lessons. Bye-bye.